ejected from his car when it crashed into a barrier, Herman Lopez's body has been pulverized by the impact. Yeah, I was here when he arrived. He got here uh, essentially dead. He came in dead, and in 99% of the hospitals in the world, he would stay dead. Pick up. This is what we do every day, only amplified at the highest level. If Mr. Lopez is to have any chance of survival, his massive internal bleeding must be stopped immediately. They do this by blocking the blood vessels to his lower body. So there were a couple of areas of innovation uh, with Mr. Lopez. The first is the Reboa balloon. Basically, they clamped the blood vessel feeding his lower body without actually clamping it. Instead, they put a balloon up from the inside of the artery and inflated it. So all the bleeding that was happening from his pelvic fracture and from his abdomen was stopped temporarily. Rushed to the OR, Mr. Lopez's life now depends on Dr. Scalea, anesthesiologist Maureen McCunn, orthopedic surgeon Jason Nazcone, and vascular surgeon Rishi Kundi. I do a lot of the surgery myself, but when I'm not, or even while I am operating mentally, I'm two steps ahead. It was very clear that I'm in charge. I'm calling the shots. That's my job. While orthopedics was fixing his broken pelvis and his other bony injuries, I, at the same time, was able to go through his blood vessels with an x-ray camera and block off or plug up the blood vessels that were injured. Are we the only people that could do this? Probably not. Are we? uniquely set up to be able to do it quickly, yes. The fact that we have a hybrid operating room so we can go do angiography and open surgery in the same place is unbelievably helpful, probably saves this guy's life. For shock trauma, research is a top priority, always looking to discover new solutions. We feel like it is our obligation as one of the busiest, if not the busiest trauma center in the country that we always learn from our patients so we can help patients in the future. It's part of, you know, we heal, we teach, we discover. And part of our research is to be on the cutting edge. Every day lives are saved at shock trauma. But Herman Lopez is a patient no one will ever forget. Thank you so much for it. God bless you. Thank you. My reward is that he lived. That's all I need. Okay, you can see me? Yeah, I if can I, see. Uh, like this, I can do a little bit, you know, oh like that. God. It's low. You see? <laughs> <laughs> all right. You did well. It ends up with this guy being alive, and um, uh, most places that just doesn't happen. As a matter of fact, almost every other place, that just doesn't happen. Thanks to Dr. Scalia, I'm still here. Thanks for keeping my husband alive. He gave me my second chance. It's about as close to being a miracle, I think, as you can get.